Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a DIY on how to make your own studded collar like the one I have on. I'm going to show you how to do this particular design and everything, um, which is really, really simple. All you need is some studs and a pen and your shirt. So, this shirt I just picked a sheer kind of over shirt. That's kind of how I'm going to wear it. Um, I would wear it as a regular shirt, but it doesn't have a button up here, so it, you know, I think that would look better. Um, but yeah, it's a really easy DIY, and I think studding is a really cool look right now, and studded collars specifically are pretty on trend, um, and it's really inexpensive to recreate. So if you want to see how to do this, I keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done one side or one side of the collar, if you will. I did it in this pattern just so it would look complete. You don't have to do this many studs. You could do two rows or whatever design you want to do. This takes about 28 given the width of my collar. This is about 28 studs, so you want to count out beforehand. You want to kind of lay out the studs to make sure you're going to have enough because you don't want to have an incomplete project. This is exactly the number I'm going to need, um, but you'll need a bag of studs, and you can get these on eBay. You just type in pyramid studs and you'll find plenty of sellers selling them at a really good price. They come in about a hundred count. That's how I got mine, was in a hundred. And I've used them for everything. I have a tutorial on studying denim, um, a denim vest, so I can link that down below if you want. Um, but I use the studs for everything. I put them on shoelaces. It's a really good investment, and it was only a couple dollars to get a bag of 100. Um, I'm pretty much out now because I've been studying everything. Um, I love the look of studded collars. I think it looks so edgy and nice. Um, I chose a black shirt because I'm using a pen as my tool to close the studs because on the back here if you can see um, I'll let it focus um, it has the what do you want to call it I don't know what to call it but they have little arm things that you have to bend in towards itself and I use a pen to kind of stab them in there if you're using a light colored shirt I don't recommend using a pen you can use any kind of tool a screwdriver works a smaller one any kind of tool that is precise like a pen but if you're using a light color, definitely don't use a pen because you can mark up the shirt. So to start, you're going to take your studs. I already know I have enough, um, but this is where you'd want to lay them out. And basically, you just want to put them where you want them. And I've done tutorials on studying before, um, so you know, it's not too difficult. So you want to stab the stud through. I've injured myself plenty of times, so be careful when you're um, stabbing the stud through. Okay, then you're going to take the pen and where you see the metal poking through, you're going to kind of push the shirt down and push the metal part of the stud down into the shirt. You're going to do that on all sides. It is kind of time consuming. Um, the other side of the collar took me about 15 minutes to do the 28 studs so depending how thick um, like how wide your collar is because I would go all the way across but you can do just the little corners and um, depending how wide it is um, it'll take some time and you want to make sure you're doing the right side when it's laying down like that so like I said you could do a few of them on the tips so it looks like collared tips which would be really nice I personally like the look of all of them and this shirt I'm going to use mainly as like an over shirt so then you just keep studying away, poke it through, you can use the side of the pen, you just want something precise enough to really push it down into the inside of the stud because you don't want it to stab, your, stab you. Like that. So there's one row done. And then you just work your way up. A lot of this is personal preference on what design you want to do. I think you can't really go wrong. I think studs are going to look good no matter what. No matter what kind of design. And my fingers always get so red when I do this because it's like, it's kind of rough to like push them through. It's like stabbing yourself. But be very careful with the pen because I have stabbed myself with the pen before and it's not comfortable. And I like to like listen to music or watch Dexter or do something. Oops, I got a little gap there. Um, do something when I'm doing this. So if you messed up or you have that little gap, it's really easy to take out, but this is the part where you have to be careful um, when you remove the studs. So you want to just dig the pen in there 
and bend the little arms up. Prongs, I guess they're called prongs. I'm trying to find the word for these things. <laughs> so like that. And then you can correct it where you want it. You definitely want to just keep working at it and um, keep checking your work to make sure it's like lined up. It doesn't have to be perfect because when it's all done it'll look good even if you have a crooked one in there. Um, this one's a little bit bent but I'm just going to shove the cloth around it. And you can also work vertically or horizontally or diagonally, whatever you want to do to make sure that you get the right amount. Sorry, there's leaf blowers outside. It definitely takes a toll on your fingers. My fingers are getting all red. This is my last stud, finally. It didn't take me too long. I'm excited for my shirt though. I think it looks really good. I also have um, a sheer black shirt I might do this too. I'll have to get more studs. Um, and I also have a white one. <laughs> Any basically collared shirt would look really good with the studs. So that is the finished product and here comes the kitty. Say hi Skimby. Isn't she getting big? She's so cute. <laughs> Um, anyway, so here is the finished product. The reason why I'm using this as an overshirt is because it doesn't have a top button, which I think would look really cute, like that. But it doesn't have that, and I guess I could add it, but the shirt's not made to close like that, so there's a, this like huge gap. Actually, I have a button wrong. Anyway, um, but I love it. I think it looks so good. It came out really nice. Sorry about the noise in the background. She's now chaperoning her claws on her little scratcher. So that is the finished product. I will have, obviously in the intro, you saw me wearing it already. And I'll have pictures and everything on my blog of it, I'm sure. So check that out. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope some of you get some inspiration to spice up some of your collared shirts. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.